Hi everyone, okay, so in this video I just want to go and tell you um, what is involved when um, when you choose your public key and your private key for, R for the RSA crypto system. Um, so let me just remind you of our situation. It's just a pretend situation where we have two people, Alice and Bob, and they want to communicate. Okay, so they have like some some um some way to send messages back and forth, like maybe the mail or maybe a phone line or maybe it's like cell phone signals or whatever, but they have some way like if Alice Alice has some way that she can send Bob like the integer 5539 over this line. Okay. Um, and the problem is, is that Eve can freely, um, you know, see any message that they um, that they send to each other. Um, Eve is an eavesdropper, and there's maybe. Maybe Alice and Bob don't mind, or maybe they do mind, but basically there's nothing they can do about Eve. Um, okay. Okay, so, and then the problem is, how can they um, send each other secret messages without Eve being able to decode the messages? Okay. Um, so there's four things we have to talk about. So like four videos. Um, the first is this video. Uh, we need to discuss how Bob generates his keys. Okay. The second step is once we do that, well then we have to describe, you know, Alice wants to send Bob a message, M, some integer, and how, we, how do we, um, using Bob's public key, how do we, um, like encrypt it and produce some secret, some some scrambling of M, that uh, that Eve won't be able to decode what it is, and then the third step is Bob receives the met the the well C for cipher, the cipher text, and then he is use able to re retrieve the mess the original message M, and this uses his pi private key. That's the third step, and then in the fourth video. We'll talk about, um, you know, like how how hard is it really that you know Eve has her hand on C and how hard is it to discover what M is? Okay, so this video is about um, the public and private key. Okay. So Bob, what Bob does is he generates a public key and a private key, and the public key. He um, announces it to everyone. Anyone can um, have his public key. And his private key, he keeps a secret. So, um, you know, he memorizes it or he just keeps it written um, on a post-it note on his computer. Um, obviously not that, but, you know, there, there, he has some way of finding it where only he knows what it is. Okay. Okay, so, um, and, and it's that public key which allows anyone to send him a secure message which can't be, um, you know, decrypted. Okay, so let's discuss how, how does he generate the, the public key and the private key. Okay, um, this is elementary number theory, so this is where the number theory comes in, right? Um, so, Bob chooses two prime numbers. B and Q. Okay. Um, then he computes the following from P and Q. He computes N equals PQ, and he also computes phi of n, well, that's the Euler phi function, well, phi of n is just P minus 1 times P times Q minus 1. Okay. 
So he has chosen P and Q beforehand, so we can just, you know, P times Q is just multiplication and multiplication. So this is easy. Okay. Um, okay, so um, just to give you an idea, like, uh, P and Q might have, um, might be hundreds or, or, or more digits, right? So, like, N is going to be, like, you know, very, very large, but that's okay. Okay, so that's the first step. He chooses his two prime numbers. Now, um, oh yeah, then he computes these two things. Okay, now given that he chooses, what does Bob do? Bob chooses um, a secret key D oh, wait, no, 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 no. First, Bob chooses his public. Oh, yeah, sorry. I think this makes more sense. Bob chooses E with um, GCD E and phi of n equals 1. Such that um, one is in between e is greater than one but less than five then, and um, this is going to be part of Bob's public key. Um, okay, and then Bob computes. number d between 1 and 5n such that de is congruent to 1 mod 5n. Okay, and now Bob has done all the computation he needs. Bob announces or just publishes like puts on his website or whatever, emails to Alice she, he tells her his public key is. I mean, he might as well tell everyone. Doesn't matter. Like he tells everyone who he wants to send him messages that his public key is um, an integer n and the integer e. And then Bob keep secret his private key, but he notes it down. I mean, if he loses this, then no one can decode the message. That's not good. Okay. And that's it. So now Bob and Bob has his public key announced to everyone and his private key, which he reserves when he needs to um, decode a message someone sends him. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching the first video. In the next video we'll look at um, what does Alice need to do to send a message. Okay, thank you. Bye.